All right, so I have some things that I ordered from Amazon and I wanted to share them with you. My kids are outside trying to introduce the puppy to the chickens and we'll see how that goes. I got some stuff from Amazon and I got our Celebrate States uh, box. Maybe I'll start with that. It seems like everything is going well outside. I don't know once I hear the screaming and yelling, um, if it's not. So, this box is Georgia. Poor Georgia. I feel like we got Georgia before, so, huh. That's kind of disappointing, getting the same box over again. Yeah, we got these already. This was good. Oh, my kids fight over this cup. So it's good that we have the second one at least. Um, taffy. Who doesn't love taffy? Pecan log roll. And what's this? Oh yeah. Hot sauce. So same box as before. That is kind of disappointing. Um, I guess I can email them and see what's up. Why we got the same one. Maybe I shouldn't Maybe I just need like a year's worth or something. I don't know. Like, hmm, I don't know. We'll see. We got, we have acrylic paint markers, which we like to use when we are drawing on rocks. We do a lot of rock art. And pens. I think this is the one that I like. I got one that looks very similar, but it like, it would bleed all the time. And then I think this is the one that does not bleed or run. Yeah, because the ballpoint. So I like these Profile Fall 1.4. I don't feel like I'm very good at talking and doing things at the same time. Like whenever I'm talking and driving, we tend to, I miss my turn. <laughs> okay, so I got stamped pads. These stamp pads, which we've had before, they were well. My son wanted some pens for drawing because he's really into drawing now. These are the good ones. They are Sakura. I'm going to link everything down below so that you can see what we got. These Micron pens are the best. I have a lot of artist friends so they always tell me <laughs> what's, what, what's good and what's not. We have these sketch pencils, which I got for my son as well. He's like I said, he's into drawing. I got a very large black stamp pad because we do have larger stamps that we use and then we color in. The rest I think are for our art journal. So we used to do art journaling a long time ago when we first started homeschooling because we started with um, nature journaling because everyone does nature journaling. So I thought that's what we should do too. But it just seemed very restrictive. Like we, we didn't always want to draw and paint in our nature journals things we find in nature. Sometimes we wanted to talk about like our travels, our adventures we go on, or you know, interesting interesting things that we learned, or just some random stuff that comes to our head. And so we kind of morphed into an art journal. And for whatever reason, we stopped doing it. I'm not too sure what. Maybe because I had a baby who's now four. <laughs> so it's been over four years and we are starting back up with our art journals. And so I just wanted to show you some of the things that we got for it. My daughter loves washi tape, so I got these washi tapes here. We got these deco paper here. It has, yeah, like art journals is really big in Asia. So I'm not too sure. Are they big here in the US? I don't know. All these different stickers, kind of art inspired. These are like little paper cutouts. Postcards, musical notes, etc. Which you would just like glue in and I guess decoupage or just glue into your art journal. So I know my oldest son will be really into it. My middle child, not so much. He's not really into doing stuff like that. And my daughter would be super into it. So it's something that we could do together. And then maybe eventually my older my middle son will be into it. I don't know. If not, that's okay. We don't all have to have the same interest, right? Next, the final box. Got corn 
cornstarch. Do you know what this is for? Leave a comment down below if you know what we're gonna make with cornstarch. I got these colored pens, mainly for our, um, our art journals, but also just cause it's fun to do your schoolwork with colorful pens. Like why do they always have to be um, using black or blue ink or pencil, you know? Make it fun. We got more colored pencils for, there's something special about these pencils, I think. That's why I got them. I think my son, oh, because they're like multicolored. I don't know, can you see that? See how they're kind of multicolored? And finally, <laughs> look at that. We have enough glue here to make what? If you can, if you can guess why we need so much glue. Let me know. I didn't know it was two. I thought it was just one, but I guess we got two big gallons. So two gallons of Elmer's glue. Hopefully my kids save their glue bottles. So quick video sharing what we're, what we got in the mail for our homeschool. If you're into art journaling, hit me up and let me know. And if you're not, but you're interested in art journaling, also let me know because I would love to share, you know, what we do, what my kids do. like. They're kids. They're not going to be doing anything, any type of exquisite art out there. I mean, the reason why I got all the stuff to make to do art journals again is because my daughter and I were watching a YouTube video of, I forgot what it's called, but she's a Vietnamese woman that lives in Germany and she used to live in this little apartment with a with a balcony and she would garden there and then eventually they bought this house in the countryside. So anyways, she was sharing how her art journaling, I think her husband does it as well. And so it was just so beautiful and inspiring. And my daughter was like, oh, I want to do that. So that's why we got all of this, I guess not a lot of art journaling material, but some art journaling material. And we do have our notebooks that we're going to use to put our um, artwork in. And hopefully the chickens survived out there. I think they did because there was no, no one was screaming bloody murder. Right? So I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.